Hey guys, today I will show you how to create your own looping backgrounds. First we need to find some suitable image. I use pexel.com for that. We need something even and horizontal, something like this. I'm going to work in Photoshop. Let's first change the height of the image to 1136. This is the height of an episode background. Press Ctrl plus A to select the image and Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then create a new file. Make it size 1920 to 1136. It's the size of a three-zoned episode background. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the image in the new file. We need to make the color of the sky at the very beginning of the background even. This will make it easier to work with it later. Use a clone stamp tool for that. Choose the area to copy from by pressing Alt. I'm gonna speed the process up a bit so you won't get bored watching this. As soon as you've finished, select and copy the picture once again and create a new image. Its size should be 2560 pixels, which equals a four-zoned background. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the image. And we need to create the last file, the size of a one-zone episode background which equals 640 in width and 1136 pixels. Paste the image here, then select and copy it once again and paste it in the 4-zone background. Paste it once again and uh, flip the second part horizontal and put it to the first one. We have this dark line here, which means that we didn't completely even the sky color by the edge. So let's fix this and repeat the previous steps. The most important rule here is that the last part of the background, the fourth zone, should be identical to the first part of the background, the first zone. That's why we need all these copy and paste manipulations. That's much better. Now we only need to smooth the middle of the picture. Select all the layers and merge them together. Then choose a clone stamp tool and start working on the middle. This is the result of my work. Not perfect, but it will do. We need to save our creation in PNG format and most likely it will be more than one megabyte. So that's why we need to compress it. I use this website for that. I will leave a link down below. Upload it as an overlay in the art catalog. Go to the writer's portal. We need to start by inserting any three-zone background, then adding our overlay. Don't forget to reset the zoom. Let's hide the speech bubble so it won't get in the way. Then select the overlay 
and put it to the very right. Then write down the next comment. Overlay landscape loop shifts to minus 960 0 in zone 1 in let's say 7 seconds. Then overlay landscape loop shift to 0 0 its original position in zone 1 in 0 loop infinite times. And here is the result of our work. Everything works perfectly. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope it was useful. See you in the next one.